So welcome home. Great to be here. Yeah, you picked a gorgeous day to come back. I know. I tried to get here before winter starts, <laughs> which here is a little earlier than... Yeah, some people might say in just a few weeks. Uh, your talk at the Salvation Army this afternoon really focused on the responsibility of giving back and helping people. Most people think of a journalist as somebody who tells a story, but for you it's more than that. Can you explain that? Well, I mean, I think that we, you know, for me at the network level, I get sent into all these disasters, these tragedies, and as you know, we've talked about this, when you parachute into these communities and people are going through horrific things uh, and and we show up with the cameras and the microphones and I I always think you know we get to leave long before they're done going through what it is they're going through and the one thing about the Salvation Army is that they're there long after the cameras leave mm -hmm. and I look back at my time at ABC and you think Katrina you think Haiti uh, the, the Oklahoma tornado just last year and more where they just started a new school year and in every one of those places the cameras have long since left, mm -hmm. and it's the Salvation Army mm -hmm. uh, that is there. And right here in central New York, you know, we all talk about the economy slowly coming back, uh, which is what we're all hoping for across this country, but we can't forget that for a lot of families it hasn't returned yet. Mm -hmm. The job hasn't come back yet. And that's one thing the Salvation Army has done here in Syracuse and in central New York. I mean, tens of thousands of families they helped in just the last year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, some of the most compelling stories that you have told have had an impact on a lot of viewers. Um, in Somalia, for example, you helped feed children. Um, that's not normally what a journalist does, but that's part of the way you look at your job. Well, I think, you know, listen, if, if I get into Mogadishu, which is dangerous and so far away, and people are sitting here in their living rooms in Syracuse and, and back here in America, I think so often you watch these things and you, and you feel badly about what you're witnessing, but you think, there's nothing I can do. It's so far away. And it sort of hit me on that particular story, the little peanut butter packet, the protein packet, it's $2 a day, and it literally was bringing children back to life. So we just held it up on TV that night, and it was just amazing what viewers will do. People want to help. And I think if we apply that here at home, you know, we came right back from that, and we, and we did a report on hunger at home in America, and we did the same thing. And I think we probably can do it right here in Syracuse in central New York, because if we just remind people that a $2 donation today you know, mm -hmm. multiplies because there are people who will match it. And it really is a small thing we can all do that helps so many people. You grew up on Onondaga Hill, went to Onondaga Central Schools, went to Ithaca College. What was it about your childhood here in Central New York that informs how you go out into the country and the world today? Well, I mean, I think the people are genuinely kind in Central New York. I'm not just saying it because it's my hometown or patting myself on the back because I'm from here. I mean, I know that you moved here as a young woman, uh, went to Syracuse University, and you never left. And I always think that that's a testament to how wonderful this community is. I mean, who chooses to come here and survive these snowstorms and these long winters? Uh, and it's really the people. And I'm from here, so, uh, you know, I drink the Kool-Aid already. Yes. Uh, and I tell people everywhere I go around this country that, you know, I'm from upstate New York. And there's something about it. Um, that when you travel and you do these stories and you, and you show up at the most difficult moments for so many people, uh, if you can relate to them and you're uh, genuine and kind and you really do care, they can tell. Mm -hmm. And they can also tell when you don't care. Mm -hmm. right. And I think that's what sets Central New Yorkers apart. I mean, you're, you're at the top of network news, but you're in many ways still that kid from Onondaga Hill, aren't you? I think so. And I hope that in coming back today and sort of celebrating the Salvation Army, you know, they're working every single day to help families here. And, and once a year, we take a moment to applaud them. And I just hope that this just reminds people of the work that they're doing every single day when the cameras aren't on. Um, they're reaching out and, and helping families get through whatever it is they're going through at the moment. And, you know, they're the kind of people that we should be championing every day. And for you, where do you go from here? What's next? Do you have something on your schedule? You know what? Back to New York tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, and who knows uh, what the next story is, but uh, there'll be something that yeah. they're waiting for already, I'm sure. They're probably looking for me on my BlackBerry right now. <laughs> You're ours today. That's right. <laughs> All right. We'll call right. Diane back later. <laughs>